in, in both substance use disorders and eating disorders, we have high mortality rates. And when we look at treatment um, specifically, you know, even if we looked at eating disorder treatment alone and substance use disorder alone, oftentimes these days we're missing the mark on individualized care. You know, is eating disorder treatment individually tailored to combat the patient that is in front of me's specific phenotype? Um, and by phenotype, I mean expression of the disease. So do I understand as a clinician that within the DSM-5 diagnosis of bulimia nervosa, there is heterogeneity of disease? You know, so not everybody with bulimia nervosa has the same illness. Not everybody with anorexia nervosa has the same illness. And the, the same is true of binge eating disorder. Um, how well am I as a clinician able to integrate care and tailor my care to the package as it shows up in any given patient on any given day? So we know that eating disorder phenotype is impacted by co-occurring substance use disorder. Uh, however, seldom are we able to robustly treat the substance use disorder in eating disorder treatment and vice versa. And I think specifically for this patient population, treatment programs that are designed or capable of addressing both robustly at the same time yield the best outcomes.